All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance. Okay. So we've got the Six of Wands. And we have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Hanged Man in the Reverse, Piscean Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Virgos, please. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Two of Cups. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns. So we have... The Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, and we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy, and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Under the deck, Virgo, we have the Two of Wands Energy here. So... In the recent past or coming into the near future, depending on, you know, time isn't linear, Virgo, so you take it as it resonates, okay? So what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is we have a situation here that is really exciting, okay? With the Knight of Wands energy, this is uh, moving towards something with a lot of passion, a lot of passion. Um, and with the Six of Wands, this is something that you're very proud of. This is something that you really want victory in, okay? You really want to win this. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man in the reverse, I feel like there is no sitting around waiting, wondering if this is right for you. No, you've already gained that enlightenment. You know that this is your Ten of Pentacles. I see a lot of financial prosperity. I see a lot of love here. Ten of Pentacles, it, it talks about achieving all of your financial goals, having, reaching completion with whatever you want, okay? Um in finances and in love, all right? Now, what we have happening, though, is with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Five of Cups, what I'm feeling here is, is Virgo, you may have somebody coming back around to you, okay? Um, somebody here may be offering an apology, but you're not really wanting to hear it. With the Five of Cups, someone here may be expressing remorse or regret, feeling guilt over how they treated you. But with the Page of Pentacles here in the reverse, um, I feel... So I'm feeling two things, Virgo. There may be a sense of sorrow that, you know, you don't have anything to offer somebody, okay? Because the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, um, there may be one person here that's more abundant than the other. So there may be sorrow here or guilt or some form of shame that you don't have anything to offer somebody. Or this is somebody here that is coming in with an apology that feels guilty or feels bad for um, walking away from a connection, okay? Someone here is coming in possibly with an apology because they walked away from a connection. But I feel that you're not really looking at the apology. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, I mean, you're not looking at it at all. With the Eight of Cups here and the Two of Cups, I feel like you're moving towards a soul tie connection here, a soulmate connection. You're moving towards something different. Now, there's also an energy here, Virgo, of someone here hurts you, and an apology never came in, and you've been in that sorrow for quite some time, but now you're emotionally unhinging from whatever this is. Maybe you've been sitting around waiting for from a message from somebody or waiting for somebody to come back, and you're, you're just realizing here that it's time to move on. There's a, a situation here, a connection that is presenting itself, and you're moving towards it. Now, coming into the near future here, with the Page of Wands energy, and the Seven of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Seven of Cups. 
I feel like Virgo, this is you making a decision. This is you telling somebody, I choose you. This is you telling someone, I've made my final decision. Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups talks about options. It talks about confusion. And the Seven of Wands um, can talk about pushing something away. And I feel like, you know, in the traditional Rider wait, the Seven of Wands, you've got six wands coming at you and one person holding a wand to block all of that. So I'm kind of seeing this energy of Virgo. You have a lot of people that are coming towards you, that are coming at you. You have a lot of options here, but I feel like you're telling someone, I choose you above all else. Like you don't want to be dealing with anyone else. So I feel, Virgo, that you're pushing away your options. You're choosing one person. If there was someone here that owed you an apology or you were waiting on a message from somebody, um, I feel like you're walking away from that. You're disconnecting from something here, okay? Um, you know, there there's just a situation here that didn't work out. It's It, it hurt a lot. It had carried a lot of sorrow with it. But you're, you're disconnecting from that emotionally. And you're moving towards this Ten of Pentacles, this Two of Cups energy. There's someone that's going to be coming into your life. Virgo, where you just know there's no waiting required. There's no let's see, let's wait, let's see what happens. You just know and you're pushing aside everything and making a final judgment call here. So with the two of wands, um, I, two of wands can be a couple of different things here, Virgo. This could be you needing to make a decision. Um, the two of wands could also be a representation of envisioning a future for yourself or with this person. Tell me about the Six of Wands energy for Virgo. Six of Cups in the reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So Virgo, what this is telling me is you're leaving a past situation behind. There's something here that didn't carry good memories. There's something here where there was financial loss or a sense of, you know, maybe financial poverty. You're just coming out of a place of lack. There's just bad memories, bad situations. And I feel like there's something new here, something exciting, something that you're proud of, something that um, you're very passionate about. Um, and I feel like that's what you're pursuing. So you're leaving these negative memories behind, these ne negative memories of lack, of not having, of hopelessness. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here, please. We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, again here, Virgo, we've got the Eight of Cups right here and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. You are not going to lose this opportunity, Virgo. You don't want to push this person away. So you're going to emotionally disconnect from whatever you need to detach from. One sec, guys, I feel like the this is so dark lighten this up a little bit. So you're going to walk away from whatever you need to emotionally detach from because you do not want to lose this opportunity for this time of pentacles. Tell me about the hanged man in the reverse. The four of pentacles. You don't want to lose this opportunity. You may even be very greedy with this situation or very, um, you don't want to let it go. You know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there's something here that you don't want to. You're gaining wish fulfillment here, okay? Um, you're gaining wish fulfillment with this connection. You see this as something that you want, and there's a sense of, I don't want to let it go, you know? Tell me about the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, please. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Tell me about the Five of Cups. We've got the Four of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Virgo, I feel like there was a situation here. Okay, so number one, remember when I told you that there may be one person that does well more financially than the other? We see that here. So the Queen of Pentacles generally does have a lot of finances, you know, is more stable. And with the uh, page in the reverse, this is someone that, you know, has nothing to offer, whereas the Queen of Pentacles does. And with the Five of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles, this could be a sense of sorrow that there is no equal give and take, you know, because the Six of Pentacles is a very generous card and with the four of wands that talks about equality your perfect counterpart so for those of you who are coming into a connection where maybe one person is the breadwinner and the other person doesn't have much to offer um, there may be a sense of you know sorrow about that or guilt about that now, on another note here, Virgo, I feel like you've been loyal to something you've been loyal to somebody like 
you're waiting for an apology from this person or you're waiting for a message or a sign from this person because your heart has been loyal to this person like you've never let something go but i don't feel like it's coming back i don't feel like the, the message is coming in i don't feel that you know you're going to get that apology and with the five of cups the four of wands and the six of pentacles i feel like there was a sense of you kind of had this small hope within you that you could work this out now this could have been a marriage with the four of wands energy it could have been living with somebody it, it was someone that you had a very a very close soul tie to um you, there was kind of like this hope that eventually at some point you guys would come back together again and even out the scales but i with the page of pentacles and the reverse pages are messages right so you've been kind of waiting for this message or this sign it's not coming in so with the eight of cups here i feel like you're emotionally disconnecting because you don't want to lose out you know of this two of cups ten of pentacles opportunity with the magician here virgo gemini energy there's this sense of you know virgo i feel like you manifested this you manifested to emotionally disconnect from this you manifested or prayed for abundance in your life and it's here two of cups please tell me about the two of cups we have the five of pentacles so virgo there's a sense of leaving something behind leaving something behind to move towards this two of cups now the two of uh, the five of pentacles also talks about a fear of losing somebody so i feel like virgo you're coming out of this place of living in a lot of sorrow living in a lot of pain maybe not being financially stable you're coming out of that you've you're coming into something more exciting something new something fun a lot of material gain a lot of financial gain and with it comes a little bit of fear because we've got the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles with it comes a little bit of fear that you know what i'm saying that that you're going to lose it but i don't really see that happening here tell me about the page of wands please we've got the emperor here Someone here maybe is making a decision because the emperor is a father figure. Page of Wands could be a child. Somebody here may be making a decision to have a child with this person. Or it could be a, an indication here of someone wanting to communicate, listen, I'm ready to be an emperor here. Like, I'm ready to get married or I'm ready to step up to the plate. Like, I'm ready to, to do this, to get serious. Tell me about the judgment card, please. We've got the hermit, Virgo energy. I feel like... Again, Virgo, I don't feel like you're going to take too much time here. I feel like you're going to take a step back for a quick minute here. You're going to gain that enlightenment, go in your hermit cave real quick, and then you're going to make a decision of this is the one, this is who I want to be with. But see, with that, with that hanged man in the reverse, I don't feel like it's going to take you very long. Tell me about the seven of wands, please. We've got the nine of swords in the reverse. You're having no trouble here pushing other options away. Like it doesn't even phase you. Tell me about the seven of cups and the nine of pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. So Virgo, out of all these options that you have, there is one that stands out above the rest. This is pre-empress energy. This is someone who basically has their life together. This is someone single, very single, very independent. Um, someone who's financially stable. Someone who, you know, just takes takes care of their life they're very independent and you know we've got the emperor here with the nine of pentacles so we have someone here making a decision you know what i'm saying to move forward with this to 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 uh, take it to the next level okay so virgo there's a sense here of leaving uh, a very dark place behind coming into a place of a lot of positivity something very committed very solid you have no trouble recognizing the fact that there's one person that stands out above everybody else like it doesn't take you long to see that um but i feel like you are releasing but you just have to be careful with this one thing here virgo living in this energy of fearing loss or living in this miser energy of wanting to hold on and being greedy you want to be careful with that because you don't want to manifest loss into your life okay clarity guidance love messages for my virgos please clarity so we've got nothing is set is yet set in stone so maybe you just started seeing this person virgo maybe it's still very new and you are good enough so virgo i feel like 
I feel like there's a sense here of you see something you really want, but maybe you're afraid to truly pursue it because, again, there's this confidence issue. Like I said, for some of you, there may be a situation where one person isn't making a lot of money and the other person is, or one person is in a different place in their life and the other person isn't quite there yet. So I feel like, you know, maybe um, there's this sense of like, you know... I don't, I don't want to lock it down. I don't want to bring this conversation up to this person because what if I'm not good enough, okay? There's adjustments are required here and don't let your past hold you back. So Virgo, there's another sense of don't allow, you know, again, for that, that situation that I brought up where someone was waiting for someone from the past, you know, hoping that it would come back together. I feel like you're adjusting to the idea that maybe it's time to move on from that and you're not going to allow the past to hold you back virgo clarity okay so we've got the thinking man healer of the ages envy and man holding a coin. So again, yeah, see, door to value here. So Virgo, you're thinking about, you know, maybe it's time for me to really heal from the past situation, you know, because with the six of cups in the reverse, that's a lot of bad memories, okay? A lot of bad memories. So you're actually starting to think about healing, operating from a higher self. Virgo, you have a situation coming in here. You have a connection coming in here where people are going to be very envious of it, okay? Very envious of it. Um, I feel like you value this person. This person values you values you and i do see a door opening for personal healing and happiness so we've got two healing cards here i feel like you know this is a warning to you virgo to be careful that you know you are coming up here in life so just be careful because you may have people that envy your situation okay so that's something to always look out for clarity guidance love messages for my virgos please clarity guidance love messages for my virgos we've got letting go professional assistance we've got fragmented energy and we've got friends and colleagues okay so virgo i see again you're releasing a lot here you're letting go of a job possibly um or you may seek professional assistance to be to let go of something i feel like with fragmented energy friends and colleagues you're releasing um you know because that falls right on top of that seven of cups you're releasing maybe friends with benefits or one night stands or uh, friends that no longer serve you friends that keep your energy scattered and all that other good stuff okay um, I feel like you're releasing a lot here. You're releasing people, places, things, memories that just no longer serve you. And with professional assistance, I feel like you're going to be maybe um, reading a book or speaking to somebody or, you know, speaking to a counselor on how to do this, on how to. We have ascended masters here. Um, maybe you're looking up on how to ascend, uh, ascend spiritually here, okay? Victim mentality. So I feel like there's a sense here, Virgo, of you've been through a a lot you've been through a lot and your higher guides here are trying to show you what you need to release to heal from whatever has hurt you in the past okay people places and things clarity guidance love messages for my virgos please clarity oh my gosh we're already at 18 minutes clarity guidance love messages for my virgos heart to heart conversations honestly start discuss your feelings with one another very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and we have stay optimistic about your love life and then unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So Virgo, again, there's an issue here of you're, you're opening up your heart and very soon you need to make a decision, okay? Do you want to be optimistic about this new thing that's coming into your life or do you want to stay in this energy of unrequited love waiting for this person to come back to you, okay? I feel like you're forgiving the past here. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, past life, relationship, and separation, okay? I feel like, Virgo, you are separating yourself. You're letting go of the past. You're forgiving, learning the lesson, and moving on. Yeah, you're making that effort to free yourself. You're putting that work in, okay? You're putting that work in to free yourself of what no longer serves you, all right? I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.